today I want to show you another slow cooker recipe. This time it's actually a dessert. I'm going to be making an apple crisp in the slow cooker. And if you have not voted already today, if you didn't know, I am a finalist in the Ultimate Crock Pot Crock Star Contest. This is a huge opportunity for me and I need all the votes that I can get. So click on the link on the screen to go vote and then come back and watch this video. So what I'm doing, like I said, is an apple crisp. It's absolutely delicious. It's really easy to make. And if you know me, you know that baking is not exactly my best skill. <laughs> um, but this is just a very easy thing to do. It's my kind of baking. It's not very fattening. It's light, but it still tastes great. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do, of course, for an apple crisp is cut up some apples. I'm just going to peel and and uh, slice four to five apples, baking apples, however many you want to do. If you're going to have four people, four apples should be enough. If you're going to have an, uh, an extra person, you might want to go ahead and do five apples. Or if you just want leftovers, <laughs> you would probably want to go ahead and do five apples. So I'm going to get these peeled up and sliced, and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay guys, I'm working on this last apple. And one thing I wanted to tell you, when you are cutting these apples up, I wouldn't cut them too thin. About that big of a slice is perfect, because if you cut them too thin in the slow cooker, they may sort of disintegrate in there since they're cooking for so long. Um, but as long as you keep the apples sort of thick like that, they'll be perfect. Okay, all my apples are cut up. The only thing left to do to these apples is I'm going to actually get a tablespoon of maple syrup right into there. And if I had some lemon juice, I'm out of lemon juice, I just realized, but if I did, I would do a tablespoon of lemon juice as well. And then I'm also going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg. So it's a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of nutmeg. I just mix them together in here. All right. There we go. And I'll just get these stirred up. Toss them gently around. And then we'll start on our topping, my favorite part. So now that the apples are mixed up, I'm just gonna put together the topping really quickly. This is a three quarter cup of oats. These are just regular oats. Then I have a half cup of flour. You could use um, whole wheat flour if you wanted to to make this even more healthy. And gotta have some sugar. It's a brown, half cup of brown sugar, my favorite. And then we're gonna get a, the, another teaspoon of the cinnamon and nutmeg mixture. So a half teaspoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna get about a quarter teaspoon of salt in here as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little mix. I'm just gonna mix up that brown sugar into the flour and the oats. And isn't this just everybody's favorite part of an apple crisp? So that looks nice and mixed up. And now we gotta get some butter in here. We, we're going to do four tablespoons of butter, which is really not very much butter at all for a crisp. And you gotta have that fat to really um, make all the, the topping come together and get nice and crispy. And as usual, I've resorted to using my hands. <laughs> but this is what you want it to look like where everything is sort of moist. It's still gonna be crumbly, um, but that's sort of the texture that we're looking for. So let me get these hands rinsed off, and then I will show you how to assemble it in two seconds in the crock pot. Okay, so now it is time for a very, very difficult part of this recipe. I don't know if you're going to be able to get this, so you need to watch carefully. <laughs> We're going to put the apples in. The yummy, delicious apples. All that good juice. Just the, the look of that just gets me excited and makes me think about the holidays. Yum, I love that stuff. Okay, now... For the really hard part, I'm just going to sort of sprinkle this right on top. <laughs> it is so difficult, as you can see. <laughs> this takes a really skilled baker. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just getting this spread out evenly, just like that, very easy. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the top on and I'm gonna cook this on high for two hours or you could do low for four hours, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, our apple crisp has been cooking 
for about two hours now on high and it looks fantastic and I'm telling you after about an hour you are going to smell the delicious cinnamon and apples and that just holiday smell it smells like Thanksgiving so this is gonna be a great recipe for you to do over the holidays and um, it's something that's great too because you can make it and it'll stay warm until it's time for dessert so you don't have to reheat it or anything like that it'll stay warm in this crock pot and as you can see it's just so easy to do so I'm just gonna get a little bit right out of here Yum. and I really didn't add a whole lot of sugar to this you know I only added what was that maybe a half a cup of brown sugar to the whole thing and then a, a tablespoon of maple syrup so it really is a light dessert and something you can enjoy and feel good about eating at the same time so hope you guys enjoy don't forget to vote see you soon and happy holidays <laughs>